Climate change dominates our discussions of existential risk narratives, but you've argued that solar storms, geomagnetic collapse, and galactic dynamics may be more immediate. What would a truly scientific risk assessment prioritization system look like? One that doesn't exclude non-anthropogenic risk just because they're outside of the Overton window. Well, I'll give you a crude sketch of what I think the answer must be. The problem is we have perverse incentives that cause people to promote the idea that hazards that happen to fall in their area of expertise are more significant than competing hazards in some other domain. We can't afford that. What you need is a body of intelligent, broad-minded, well-trained thinkers who are remunerated based on their ability to predict and correctly prioritize hazards. In other words, you do not want them to be paid for writing a grant proposal that alarms people about some hazard that they happen to have the antidote to. You want this body to debate within itself what the priority scheme should be based on available evidence and, most importantly, predictive power. That's a little tough because certain hazards, you may not get even one test run. But nonetheless, the job should not absolutely exclude the perverse incentive that comes from promoting hazards over which you have special expertise.